Okay, okay, okay. Um, Chuck needs a new deck. Chuck needs a new deck. Um, the piggy thing was cool. Got to come up with something original. Um, just going to let it flow. Let it flow. You know what? You know what? Enchantments. Let me check out the enchantments. That's always been my go-to. Always good there. Okay. What do we got? Um, no, 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 no. Oh, that, that's interesting. Gauntlets of Light. Enchanted creature has, hey, two and a white and untap this creature. There's got to be a way to abuse that. You know who produces mana? Incubation Druid, but that's only three with a counter on it. There has to be something else I can use to get one more mana. Welcome to another great deck tech here at Chuckwagon MTG. Today we are bringing you Headbanger Elves. This is probably the most exciting deck that I've played so far. It has a broken infinite mana combo in it and con confining it to green-white uh, makes it go off as early as turn three for the win. But let's walk through it. Uh, there's a lot of parts to it. Uh, some things have to happen, and the, uh, the, the center pieces of this combination are, uh, as you probably could tell from the, uh, the opening, the Incubation Druid, uh, for one and a green, you add uh, one man of any type that a land you could uh, control, that you control could produce, and if it has a 1-1 one, one counter on it, you can add three man of that type instead. Okay, so... What you want to attach to this is Gauntlets of Light. Uh, it's for two and a white and aura that you enchant your, your Incubation Druid. Uh, you, it gives that creature plus zero plus two and it assigns combat equal to its toughness rather than its power, which is nice just to have it out on the field like that because uh, Incubation Druid uh, has a, you know a decent toughness. But what, what we're focusing on is the enchanted creature has... Uh, for two and a white, you can untap that creature. Now, Incubation Druid uh, can only produce three mana uh, with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. But, with the Core 2020 edition of Leyline of Abundance, uh, you get that extra mana to go infinite. So, the way this works uh, is you... Play Ley Line of Abundance on turn zero. Get it out on the battlefield. Then, uh, hopefully, you can get a Lana War Elf out there. Um, if that survives, awesome. You can tap your Lana War Elf now for two two mana. So you tap it for two. You know, play your your first land. Play your Lana War Elf. Uh, play your second land on your on your second turn. And tap Lana War Elf for two, play your Incubation Druid. And now you have two untapped lands 
that are just sitting there. And you're, this is the point where you're very vulnerable. Uh, you know, if you lose your incubation druid, you lose your turn three win. So what you have to protect that, that, that incubation druid from all kinds of assault, uh, Veil of Summer. Uh, so it's an instant for one. Uh, you draw a card if an opponent has cast a blue or black spell this turn. So this is removal. You know they're 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 casting that removal or they're casting some sort of um, aura to defunct your incubation druid. Uh, so if they cast that, you can you can use this as a counter. Um, and you and permanents uh, you that you control gain hexproof from blue and black. So it's limited protection, but it's really focused on the ones that can get you at this early part of the game. Um, if they if they try to burn you with red, uh, you can use assure or assemble. And the and the beautiful thing about this combo is this how this assure assemble fits into it. Uh, it puts a 1-1 counter on your target on target creature, so on your incubation druid, which you need for that infinite combo. And it also gives that creature indestructible. It's a it, it's it's amazing that this works out so well. So turn zero, ley line of abundance on the battlefield. Turn one, play a land, Lana War Elf. Turn two, tap your Lana War Elf for two, incubation druid. And then you keep that other two mana up to protect your incubation druid uh, with whatever you have in your hand, wh wh whether that's Veil of Summer or Assure Assemble. Uh, but either way, at the end of that turn, you're going to either hit it with an Assure Assemble to get that 1-1 one, one counter on it, or you're going to hit it with a Stony Strength to put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. And then, if you have Gauntlets of Light in your hand on turn 3, you can attach it. And with two creatures on the battlefield, you go infinite with mana. So you're creating all this mana. Now what you have on the battlefield right now with Leyline of Abundance, Atlanta War Elf, Incubation Druid, Gauntlets of uh, Light. The Leyline of Abundance, people usually don't notice this, but at the very bottom if you pay 6 and 2 green, you can put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control. So you can pump up your Atlanta War Elf, you can pump up your um, incubation druid and attack for infinite whatever you know however much you want to put on there um, so this by itself is, is a beautiful thing there's a few things in the deck the uh, secondary win condition with that infinite mana that you can use or you know just having ley line of abundance out with a 1-1 counter on it uh, can propel you into this win condition even if you don't go infinite so uh, finale of devastation uh, you want to pump up that, uh, you know, get your infinite mana, pump it up to 20 or however much you want, and then you seek out Zatalpa Primal Dawn. Uh, put it on the battlefield, and if you, of course, you're going to have over, um, X is going to be over 10 for Finale Devastation. So the, the way Finale Devastation works, uh, you search your library and graveyard for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Uh, if X is 10 or more, creatures you can grow get uh, you control get plus X plus X and gain haste till end of turn. So you you reach out, grab that Zatalpa, put it on the battlefield. It gets plus whatever you know whatever you put it on, infinite plus infinite. <laughs> and you put it on the battlefield and you attack in on turn three with a flying double strike, vigilance, trample, indestructible, pumped up Zatalpa. Uh, it's a, it happens more than you think it would, honestly. Uh, another, you know, another card that we have in the deck that is good for early game defense as well as a finish, a finisher, is Finale of Glory, and it's the same thing. You can you can pump this up to, you know, a million, uh, and cast it and create X two two white soldier creature tokens with vigilance, uh, and if X is ten or more, you also get X. 4-4 four, four White Angel creature tokens with Flying and Vigilance. So, again, another great win condition. Uh, I've played this. I love playing it. It is hilarious when it goes off, and it's a beautiful thing if you if you attack in. And with that, I will outro you with about four minutes of high-speed gameplay. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Uh, 
if you like what you saw, be sure to share this with your friends, your family, your pets, because everyone can use a little more magic in their lives. Now get ready to rock.